Hello and welcome to this short video presentation about C-Spot. What is C-Spot? In this video I want to give you a high-level overview of this tool, its features and capabilities. Now C-Spot was designed to help churches organize their meetings, people and resources. Its goal is to provide everyone with the necessary information using any device of their choice, being, being it a mobile device, a tablet, or a laptop or a desktop computer, computer to smoothly run a church service. This means that leaders can organize the order of service, which in turn gives others like the teacher or the musicians, or the one who does the overhead projection, all the data and resources they need to fulfill their tasks. At some stage, the leadership team usually plan the church services and leaders and teachers for those services. This information will be put into C-Spot accordingly. Now the calendar view, as you can see it here, gives a good overview of the planet services. Once you have put the plans, songs, users and their roles and other bits and pieces into the system, the leader of a service can start creating the order of service for that day. And here, services highlighted in light blue indicate that the logged on user is involved as a leader or teacher for this event. Now let's go and open one of these plans. Now in this church, most plants, depending on their type, already have a list of predefined items that you can see here. And this can, of course, be modified. Now the leader can start adding songs, scripture readings, etc. into this plan. Let's see how to do that. If he wants to insert a song, he can either search for the title, select from a list of songs by number, or search within the lyrics for that song. So if you enter a word, it gives you a list of songs that contain that word in their ly lyrics. If you point to a song, it will show you the lyrics and then you can select that song and it will be inserted into the plan. Same for scripture, reading, select the book, chapter, verses, version and there you go, it's added to the plan. You can add more songs, and as you can see, there's also videos, video clips, slides, or images, or other comments that can be inserted. So let's add another song, just choose any. inserted. So and, and once the leader has put in all the songs that he wants for this for this plan he can or then the musicians can start looking into this plan and see uh, what is there. And the plan already indicates whether there are chords and sheet music attached to the songs, so he can go ahead and open that song and see, he will see the chords then accordingly. Now during the service, every mus musician will have access to this and every musician will have the same list of songs and items so they can follow along through the service and just move forward to the next item, whether it be a song or any other item, accordingly. So 
So back to the plan overview. The leader, on the other hand, also has an option to use this tool as, as his notes, so to say, for the for leading the service. And then we'll give him a similar representation. He will see the lyrics of songs. He will see the scripture reading and so on. Also, every everyone who uses this, to, this tool can add private notes to, start to their items and have various other options to modify the outlook of this. Lastly, the presentation of, of, this, of these songs. works like this. It starts here and then the one who does the presentation clicks through the various items. It will show the songs, lyrics, it will show scripture reading and here for instance they can choose to show more or less verses per slide and can do this on the fly. So let's go back to our plan overview and I just want to show you a few more features and items. For instance I mentioned roles. Every user will be assigned a role and this role determines what they can do in C-Spot, what kind of rights they have to modify things or not, or just basically read the stuff, use it. For instance, musicians can just read the chords, can't modify anything, and so on. So this can be modified according to your needs. Now, on a higher level, this is the start page. It gives you the main features of C-Spot or quick links basically into the pages that are needed most often. You have a quick link into the plan for the next song or the calendar of events that you have seen before and so on. And here for instance you will see the calendar but just with your events that you are involved in so that helps you to see what's going on. You can also show that as a list. Now, of course, um, we have a repository of songs, as you can see here, and two different Bible versions currently um, that are integrated into the system. However, we can use more translations by accessing them through the internet, on the fly, basically. Then you have slides text slides basically that can be used for instance during a sermon or you can insert video clips if you want to show a video during the announcements or so. Then um, what's also important is that we are integrating this with song select. That means what that means is that can see that here that we point to that same song in song select song select basically is a music rights management company and every church that uses songs that are licensed by this company basically need to um, be uh, registered with song select so if you have a song select account you can open that song in song select and you can click through the lyrics, chords, the lead music sheet and you can even listen in, listen into the song. Right, so let's go back to our plan and just quickly show you the song repository. Again, users can view 
review the songs, but only certain users with certain roles can also mod modify them. And um, you can see here, for instance, how often this song has been used, when it has been used the last time. Again, here the song select number or CCLI number. Here you can see what type of license it is, and so on and so on. And as I said, the editor can go ahead and edit songs and if needed and modify them. So lastly, I want to show you a pretty neat feature that we often use in our midweek church services because usually we don't have songs planned for that service and um, if that is the case this is pretty easy to um, implement and I want to show you how a musician that is present here using Seedbot can without having to do any search basically get the chords or sheet music for the song that was just announced. So, so let's try and, and demonstrate that quickly. Say for instance you are leading that service and you want to propose a song so you select the song as usual but before I do that let me just open a new tab log on and let's assume this is now a music musician who logs on to the same service plan he will start with the chords presentation and he will see the same so this is this is the musician the musician's view and this is the leader's view so the leader will put in a song let's just select any song the leader will just see the lyrics now if the musician goes ahead and goes forward to the next song he will see the chords for that song that was just in this moment inserted and you can see here this is just this one song for now so if if there's another song the leader adds another song Let's choose anyone and now we still see just one song but as soon as the musician clicks on this he will get the chords for the next song. So this is just a quick overview and um, thanks for dropping by. Please use the comments below, the comments section below to ask questions or comments or comment. All right, thanks. Bye.